Hi, welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. Today we are going to make Italian focaccia. It can be served as a side dish or sandwich bread, or make a pizza. I will make three different flavors today. Let's look at the ingredients of the dough. Very simple: 500 gram of all-purpose flour, 390 gram of water, 9 gram of salt. One gram of dry yeast. I usually like to add one teaspoon of rosemary for extra flavor. This dough has a 78% of hydration. Dough with such high hydration is very difficult to knead, so I will still use a stretch and fold with a small amount of dry yeast, allow the time to help to build the gluten. If you are not comfortable with such high hydration, you can start with the 65%. I use coarse salt first. Dissolve the salt in the water, and then pour the yeast and the rosemary into the flour, and the mix bit. Slowly pour in the water. And stir until no visible dry bits. Leave in the fridge for at least one hour, better overnight. Take the dough out of the fridge. And bring it back to room temperature. You can see that there is already some gluten developed. Let's do the first stretch and fold. As to how to do the stretch and fold, you can check my previous video of Algerian bread. The link is down below. Cover and let the dough relax for thirty minutes. This is how my dough looks like after I made two stretch and folds, which is about one hour after the very first one. Next, let the dough rise to about twice and a half of its original size. This recipe can make two twelve inches round bread. First, I'm going to make a rosemary focaccia. I'm using twelve inches cast iron pan. Sprinkle olive oil. Put the dough directly on it. Use the fingers to push and stretch the dough. Turn it over, and continue the same motion. You feel the dough is kind of elastic. Then cover it and let it relax for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes after. The dough is much more relaxed and easier to handle. Repeat the same pressing and stretching until the dough covers the bottom of the pan. Now let it rest for final proofing, about 50 to 60 minutes. Preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. Sprinkle more olive oil, rosemary, and salt. Then push your fingers all the way down as a final touch. Bake in the middle or lower rack until the top is golden, about 12 minutes. Let it cool before cut it open. Look at the texture. You know it will be delicious. Now let's make the second one with the Kalamata olives. After 15 minutes of resting, spread some chopped olives on top. No oil and salt here because olives are oily and salty enough. While stretching the dough, pushing the olives into the dough so that the flavor of the olive can be incorporated into the bread. Cover for final proofing, about 50 to 60 minutes. Preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit, middle or lower rack. Bake until the top is golden. About 12 minutes. 
Look at the color. Isn't that a pretty? Finally, the focaccia pizza, after the final proving, spread a thin layer of cheese. And then drizzle some pasta sauce. Not too much cheese here, because what we want is that thin, crispy, cheesy layer after baking. Preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit, about 15 minutes, until the cheese is golden brown. Let's look at these three breads one by one. I hope this video will inspire you and you will create your own focaccia. Thanks for watching and see you next time.